Hello everyone, my name's Katrina and the Deerathon has just begun. I am chilling here with Red from Little Red Reader on FaceTime and I'm going to be reading some of Muse of Nightmares to her, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to settle in, uh, set up some reading sprints on the Deerathon Twitter and jump into it. Chapter 44, A Pirate's Smile. We've just gone home, setting up our Japanese feast with some wine, and we're gonna watch a movie. So on the way to Alex's house, I was listening to a little bit of The Gender Games by Juno Dawson, which I've started listening to before uh, the readathon started. I'm gonna dig in. That's food. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Just a really quick check-in at the moment. So I have continued listening to a little bit more of the gender games in my shower this morning. As you saw from yesterday, I had another little reading session with Red for Muse of Nightmares, and I've been making a lot of progress on this manuscript. I'm almost finished. I'm at 92%. I'm determined to finish this this morning. So I'm actually gonna be having another call with Red in like an hour or so. But before then, I want to finish reading this manuscript because I need to get my feedback back. So I just finished reading the manuscript. Oh, that was a lot to take in. So I'm gonna pull myself together a little bit. Ah! Mmm. Fuck. All right, so I'm settling in to bed. I've got my nice comfy mountain here and I'm on FaceTime with Red on the phone here. I'm not going to move it because I don't want to ruin my setup. But we're about to settle in and read some of Muse of Nightmares. So at the moment we're on page 200, 425. So we're so close to the end. So we're going to see how far we can power through and get this done. And um, while we're doing it, we'll host some reading sprints up on Twitter. Oh, I want pasta. But that involves getting up. The end. We finished! So I'd planned to film a lot today, get so much done, be really productive, and then I went to bed kind of late and then woke up at 11 a.m. So annoyed at myself. I should have set an alarm. I should have done it. But at the same time, I kind of needed that sleep. I haven't had it like a, a solid night's sleep in the longest time. So I feel really good at the moment. But um, yeah, I still have a lot of stuff I need to do. It's now about 11.30 and for me the readathon's finishing at 5 p.m. tonight. Ah, I'm just so annoyed because I wanted to get so much filming done like during the day so I have a little bit better lighting and then get a bunch of reading done before 5 p.m. but I've got like five and a half hours left so I'm not gonna get through much. Before I went to bed last night I did get through about 20 pages of City of Lies by Sam Hawke. I was thinking about starting Nevernight or Strange the Dreamer, uh, my rereads for those, but I wanted to do it when I had a little 
when I was a little more awake, I suppose. For both of them, I'm going to be doing reading vlogs because I'm starting up a new series on my channel, which is about rereading my favorite books. And I want to really go in depth about my experience with them and like show my reactions along the way to things I might have forgotten or coming back to some of my favorite moments, highlighting some of my favorite quotes and things like that. So I wanted to just do that when I was a little more awake and had the time to dedicate a bigger chunk of reading. I might try and do some of that this afternoon. This morning, I need to get ready, recurl my hair, put my makeup on, and then how many videos do I have? I've got... I need to film four videos. And then there's two other ones that I could also do. Yeah, let's do it. Truly believed I was a gay man and had been resigned to the best part of 12 months. Nothing especially eventful happened on New Year's Eve 2014. Hey everyone, it is about 10 to 5 p.m. which is when the Dearathon finishes for me and I thought I would just do a bit of a wrap up and finish my vlog off now because I'm not going to get any reading done in the next 10 minutes and I haven't gotten any reading done in the past few hours so I thought it was about time for me to wrap this up and let you know how I did overall. In terms of page count, it's not the most I've ever done for a readathon. First up we have the book manuscript. I started about halfway through the book and finished it during the Dearathon, which I'm really happy about and it was wonderful. As you guys probably saw from my reaction. I also finished Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. This is a book that I have been reading for about three months almost with Red. We've been FaceTiming and I've been reading Muse of Nightmares to her because she didn't have a copy of the book. So I read the last 170 pages or so of this one, which I'm honestly really proud of. We've been getting small snippets here and there done during my lunch breaks and things like that, but on Saturday we managed to sit down for about four hours and sprint to the end of this book which I'm so happy about. Oh my god I'm gonna be doing a review of this series for you really soon so you can check that out but it was so perfect. It was wonderful. Oh my goodness. I also started and only read about 20 pages of City of Lies by Sam Hawke which is the name of the book club pick for September so I need to get a move on with this one. Make more progress than just 20 pages. And I've listened to roughly 120 pages worth of the audiobook for The Gender Games by Juno Dawson. So at the moment I've got three and a half hours remaining. I got a little bit of listening done when I was getting ready this morning slash this afternoon. I didn't wake up early enough to do anything in the morning. Ugh. Like I said, isn't the most I've done in a readathon. I definitely could have read more, but I had a lot of other things to do. And I'm really happy with the fact that I finished two books which I've been working on for so long. The manuscript I started last month and was hoping to read faster than I did, but things keep getting in the way so I'm really happy that I finally got that done. And Muse of Nightmares, Red and I were reading it for about three months. So we finished that! Oh my god! I'm just so excited! Anyway, that is the first Dearathon, the first round of the Dearathon. It was honestly so much fun. Thank you guys, everyone who participated and joined in with all the reading sprints. Red and I were just blown away by how much engagement we received for the first round of this small, humble little readathon that we started up not expecting much from and it's been so great to see so many of you guys participating. Honestly, it makes me so, so happy to see you all participating. I'm so, so excited. If you guys missed out on this round of the Dearathon, don't worry. The main idea for it is that it's an impromptu readathon. So any time that Red or myself have a day or two free, we're just going to spring a readathon. We're just going to be doing this readathon whenever we can, whenever we feel like it. Just keep an eye on our Twitter, turn on your notifications so you can be alerted anytime we do announce another round. But it's been a really great time such a great time. So thank you guys for making this like such a great experience. We had such fun doing all the reading sprints. I know that Red did like a reading adventure uh, today which sounded so much fun. I missed it because I was sleeping and then I was filming but oh, I'm just really really happy. Thank you thank you thank you guys. Love this community so much. Anyway I'm gonna go. Uh, my cheeks hurt from smiling. I need to edit these six videos that I just filmed so I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,